The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus revealed himself again to his, his disciples by the sea of Tiberias. And he revealed himself in this way. Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples were together. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they had caught nothing. Just as day was breaking, Jesus stood on the shore. Yet the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, do you have any fish? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. So they cast it and now they were not able to haul it in because of the quiet because of the quantity of the fish. The disciples whom Jesus loved therefore said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on his outer garment, for he was stripped for work, and threw himself into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, but about a hundred yard off. When they got out on land, they saw a charcoal fire in place, with fish laid out on it, and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went abroad and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, 153 of them. And although there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took bread and gave it to them, and so with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus was revealed to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus' invitation to his disciples when he called them on mission. Come, I will make you fishers of men. With this invitation, he called most of his disciples. Among the twelve, many disciples whose profession was to catch fish. They were fishermen in the Sea of Galilee. Now these disciples, after the tragic death of Jesus, find no meaning. They came for a purpose to be with the Lord, imagining so many things, but everything comes to an halt. And now the disciples go back to their own place, and now they go back to their own profession. And now it seems that they have lost touch in their own profession. They go out to fish, and the gospel says they, got, they caught nothing. And there was the Lord who came in search of the disciples. Though the disciples abandoned him, though the, though the disciples went far away from the Redeemer, though the disciples during the crucifixion abandoned and ran for their lives, and now Jesus comes in search of these disciples. He doesn't want to miss his disciples and he comes in search of them. 
the beauty is that dear friends in moments of crisis in moments of their hardship in moments of their difficulties where they struggled all night and they caught nothing there was lord besides them he was there to comfort them at the same time he was there to welcome them into the communion that is what we see where he prepared fish and bread for the disciples and his sentence come have breakfast he was inviting the disciples once again to have communion with him and to get back to the original call that is to become the fishers of men dear friends this gospel is a life message for you and me many times like the disciples we struggle we struggle in our daily lives many times like the disciples we are wounded and hurt many times like the disciples we do not know what to do and how to get, go about in our lives many times when our hopes get crushed we do not know how to cope up with that situation and we try hard and hard and never get the expected result in those moments it is human to lose hope and we lose hope and end up as sad people many times many people try to end up their lives because what they imagined what they thought about was not the same thing what was happening in their lives and today this gospel passage gives you and me a message in those moments of hopelessness in those moments of struggle in those moments where we find no meaning in life our lord comes in search he comes in search search of you and me to welcome us back into himself to have communion with him and to dine with him and to be united with him many times dear friends we so get caught up with our own little things the sins that may comfort us sometimes the addictions uh, that we may be struggling with sometimes the persons that we may be getting addicted to we struggle to come out of everything we struggle and struggle many times we swim in the happiness of sin and we do not want to come out of it and in those moments of our struggle our redeemer stands besides us welcoming us come let us have breakfast come have communion with me are we ready to throw off all those things that which makes us unworthy which do not allow us to have communion with the redeemer are we ready to let go of those things and come and be united with our redeemer like the disciples may your mother praise for you and me to have a better communion with our redeemer amen